hello and welcome back. This video is going to be about the, I think the final upgrade to Misty's Mad. The contraption. Mobility assistance device is its official name. It's got a tail light. Either flashes, steady, or um, there's three LEDs in there. Boom, boom, boom. This is a camera mount. Nice big, old, I think 11 inch uh, wheels. And then I decided, ooh, let me put headlights on. So how am I gonna do that? I found that these, looking around, I found good, good flashlights with that fit inside three quarter PVC, three quarter schedule 40 PVC with no problem. See, here's the flashlight. This is, happens to be the brand. Good old Home Depot. Adjustable. But um, what it does, it fits in three quarter schedule 40, the white stuff, perfectly. Just, ah oh, look at that. It works great. I had to fit the three quarter over the half inch. Now that was fun to do. I had to ream out the inside of those to fit it to for it to fit over the half inch. And then I put a, a screw in there. I put a screw in there to help to keep it in place. I don't want to glue it. Here is how I am going to all add headlights. This is just your standard run-of-the-mill LED flashlight that has wide or narrow spot. We're going to have the wide angle. Let's turn that off. Well, this is half inch, so the ID is not going to happen. Now, this is three quarter. And it just so happens this fits perfectly within the three quarters. And I've routed this out enough to where I can slip that on there. Now this is way too long. So what I have to do is, this is good length. I had a cap on there. We don't, should. Now the problem with this is that Misty's head is right here. So she keeps hitting it when she needs to turn and look down and sniff and all that. So. I need to get it to this length right here. Now, I've got these to hold this in place. Now, in theory, I could just put a screw there and be done with. Now, I can go a little, I'm thinking right here. Boom. I think that would be good there. So, I need to cut this back to right there. Get the good old Sharpie. Now well, that's about lined up. I don't know if you can see that. That's about lined up, so. There we go. Now I need to cut that off of there. Now the thing is, is I have it taped on the underside, so. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Let me get you out of the way. Let's see, do I want to do it that way? Yes, I think I do. That's not the sharpest knife. I need to sharpen it. As anyone that's worked with this insulation knows. Now, see that could be a cleaner cut. I 
Now how far in does it go? That one goes that far. Let's see this one. Same thing. All right, good. And need that there. Actually, let me measure it. The outside. Whoops, not that far. I need to cut it there. Committed. Next step is to drill a hole right about here. Now it's locked in place. Unfortunately that's there, but I'm not going to worry about that for right now. Spin. No, nope. all I gotta do is a nice straight cut. Like <laughs> I said last time, cutting the last one, I probably should have sharpened my knife. Okay. Well, see, there's tape on this side. There we go. Okay, so again, the same thing that was in the right spot. So it was that far. Oops, close enough. Ow. Ow. I just cut myself. Look at that. Pretty bad, too. Yeah. Well, here's the final product. Tail light. Got two headlights. So now she can see where she's going. And cars can see her. And 
that will draw attention as well. Face. At least it was in front of her face before. Okay. Let's see what happens here. She's a good girl. cruising. There, that's a good shot of the beam. <laughs> <laughs> 